Hey everyone, it's Julie Boye here. I am super excited. I have my friend here, Drupti Glowankowski. Good morning, Drupti. Good morning, how are you? Oh, I'm so good and I'm so happy you've joined me. Uh, Drupti and I met through this wonderful organization called Mompreneurs. We uh, met actually over a year ago. Um, she was one of the first people I met in the organization. And you know what I love about Drupti is she is such a kind and loving woman. Uh, always has a big smile, always willing to help, very generous. And she has a beautiful business uh, called Bold Looks, which on the outside might look like a business, uh, a makeup business, but it's actually so much more than that. And that's why it was really important for me to include Drupti in this beautiful self-love project that I've been working on. So I'd love for you to introduce yourselves, kind of give us a little bit of your background story and how you got to where you are today in your business. Oh, for sure. So um, thank you, Julie, for having me here. Um, so my name is Drupti Glowankowski and um, I'm a mom. I'm married for oh, just over 21 years. It's crazy. Time flies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I have two boys and I'm an esthetician and makeup artist and have had bold looks oh, for about 16 years, I want to say. It started off really, really part time um, as a way to sort of earn a little extra on top of having a full time job. Mm -hmm. And then over time, that sort of grew and morphed into a little bit more especially after having kids and feeling um, that sort of uh, loss in a sense of not having the time with them whilst I'm at work and working in the spa and beauty industry, it's really a lot of shift work too. So um, missing out on like the soccer games or baseball or something. So um, just over, I want to say six years ago, I decided to just sort of walk away from all of that and start my own business and take bold looks sort of into that next level and just work for myself and really just see what was available out there and kind of fill in those voids where women wanted to have self-care but timing wasn't always perfect for them whereas my schedule is flexible and I can sort of mesh with their needs also. Um, so that's where the home part of it came in from as far as sort of beauty, personal care, I've been in that industry and I'll age myself a little. <laughs> I've been in the industry for over 30 years. So um, yeah, I would say it's a passion. I love I, doing it. I mean, you, you say you age yourself, but look at how beautiful your skin is, right? Oh, like, thank you. you. <laughs> no, you've, you've been a product of this industry in a beautiful way. So 31 years of the industry. Uh, and then um, I can you tell us a little bit, because you have a partner also that you work with um, for your products, right? Um, yeah, well, I do. I'm a distributor and I um, work with Cetogen. So I am an um, artist with them and have trained with them too, which is amazing. Yeah. But um, just in the last year, I partnered up with a boudoir phot photographer. And her um, name is Vivian Klein. Her and I just really clicked at an event that I was putting on to sort of educate women about uh, self-care and taking care of your skin and everything and just happened to really click well and in talking further found out that she had a need for um, a more stable makeup artist that um, you know could be there for her bookings and so that's where that great partnership began and it's really about um, empowering women to have women feel comfortable in their own skin um, their body, no matter sort of their age, shape, size, whatever. It's all about just um, taking charge for yourself and feeling right. good for you first and um, not making it about someone else, but making the experience about them. So um, that partnership is amazing. Yeah. It's so great. I love that you what I love too is that you recognized as a parent as well that you needed to shift the way that you were doing your work and your passion. Right. As you said, you've been, it's 31 years you've been in the beauty industry. It's obviously your passion. It's something you're really, um, you know, guided to do. You do it so well. You do it with so much love. 
and you listened and said, okay, this isn't the lifestyle I want for me and my family. How can I shift that? And you shifted into doing it. Uh, you're in your home studio right now when we're, we're filming. I am. I have a aesthetics room and a makeup room here. And so I work out of the home, but I also do mobile stuff, obviously going to right. places to share um, the great products and experience. Would you say the majority of your business today is the makeup application or are there other parts of your business that I maybe not don't know about as well? I think a majority is doing that, having that one-on-one -on -one connection mm -hmm. and um, doing sessions for makeup and skincare. But I do have a really um, good loyal clientele for my aesthetic services. So I do facials, okay. um, pedicures and that kind of aesthetic services too. Uh, which yeah, is yeah. another way of self-care. Because <laughs> you've always introduced yourself, right, in our mompreneur group yes. with bold looks as the makeup. Because it makes sense. Because if people aren't local to you, you, right. know, it's, you can't really bring the aesthetic studio with you. Exactly. Well, I can for a price. There's always a way. Yeah, no. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. It's a bit more complicated. <laughs> but the makeup thing, obviously, it's easier to free to just take yes. it and do. And that's why we're more familiar with that. And I, you know, I really, um, I love the partnership that you and Vivian have also created. And I know that, you know, boudoir photography might make some women uncomfortable. They might not know mm -hmm. if it's right for them. So when you meet with a client who's getting ready for her session, like how do you help her, you know, not just from like a, an appearance perspective, but how yeah. preparing for her session? A lot of it is done beforehand, sharing with them what the experience is going to be like. Um, you know, we walk them through from the moment they step into the studio as to how the session is going to go. Um, so there is a lot of prep work in advance, but on the actual day they come in um, and, you know, they weren't, they're greeted by myself and Vivian and then they spend the next hour and a half um, in my chair. So it's it's perfect opportunity to really uh, get to know them, ask the questions about what they're, why they're doing the boudoir session, whether it's for themselves or as a gift, or for some people, it's a way of um, rewarding themselves. And, you know, they've come through a journey, maybe it's been weight loss or maybe, um, they've allowed themselves to walk away from a bad situation and they want to feel good about themselves. So um, there are a lot of different things that go into that, but that one and a half hours that we have prior to the actual shoot is where we get comfortable. We get to sort of listen to the story, let our clientele share as much as they'd like to share, but then also um, we share other people's experiences, um, not necessarily naming them, obviously, but you share that, oh yeah, you know, I've heard that we've had another client that went through similar experience. Um, so it gives them that grounding and that comfort of like, okay, I can kind of relax a little bit now and know that. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened just there. Yeah, I think you accidentally went mute, but you were just saying how you were helping people feel grounded. Um, yeah. By the end of their session with you in the chair, they felt they feel grounded and comfortable and, you know, ready for the, the photography. It's open to, um, hang on just a second. I'm just going to turn it. Okay, we had a little technical glitch, but we're back on and Drupti's here. And we were just really discussing about by the time someone's finished with you with their boudoir prep session, um, with their makeup, I'm guessing their hair as well. Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're ready. And then how, you know, what do you think is going kind of through their head? Are they excited? Are they nervous? Do you kind of see everything? I think we see a mixed bag of tricks there. Um, there's definitely women that are super excited about it and they just have that energy to get going. Um, others, you sort of have to, that um, prep time is that time to sort of draw out um, any insecurities and to help them feel comfortable with the whole situation and give them that confidence. So it's sort of um, both, uh, they do feel a little, 
um, nervous about it, but then over that time, they're genuinely excited by the time they actually get done with hair and makeup. So, yeah. You know, the whole time you've been talking about this boudoir photography, it's not something I have yet to experience. And, you know, one of the reasons I talk about why I started this self-love project is because I, I've gained weight since I've moved to BC over the past couple of years. Um, all the things that I would do in the past to lose weight just don't seem to work as well, maybe because of my lifestyle changes or because I'm 43. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. And... You know, I think about, you know, would I be comfortable like in the body that I am today doing a boudoir session? And I don't know. And I think that's what makes this an incredible gift of self-love. Would you agree? Right. Yeah. It is an incredible gift. And I know even for myself, like as I've gotten older, you know, you sometimes you look back at flashbacks that come through social media and you're like, oh, wow, I looked great then. And then that, that moment is where you have to sort of stop yourself and remember that you, that was then. Yeah. You've grown so much more and you've lived so much more and your body's given so much more. And that's when it's sort of like, okay, you know what? Have gratitude for the, the moment right now because that journey has led you to where you are. And, you know, for me, yes, I've packed on some extra pounds, but at the same time, I have to continuously remind myself that I've got two amazing kids that my body allowed me to bear, yeah. right? Um, I have an amazing husband that doesn't matter to him. I'm beautiful, sexy, no matter what. So, he, <laughs> yeah. we, you know, you have to say thank you. I think it's hard for us just to say Thank you. I was reading um, a book where it was saying that women find it really difficult to take that compliment and that we try and find excuses. And it's like, no, just say thank you. <laughs> it, it is an act of receiving to actually say thank you when someone gives us a compliment instead of reflecting it back to them. So yeah. if someone says, you look really great today, you answer with thank you as opposed to thanks and so do you. It's like the actual response is thank you. And right. story. And so many times we say, oh, thank you. I got this dress here and there. Or there's the compliment our clothing. And we're like, oh yeah, well, I got it at the thrift store and bubble. And we have to tell the story about where the outfit came from instead of just accepting the compliment. And I think right. what you said, which is so beautiful, is about being grateful for the body that you have right now, today, in this moment, because it is such a miracle. And also like you, I'm very lucky that I have a husband who is like, I love you like just today as right. you are it's all good you know like right and that's I mean that's a positive so clothes thing. on or off he's happy <laughs> right he's just like <laughs> right and it's like but it's up to us to be happy with our clothes off too and I think the work that you guys are doing it's such an amazing gift for for women to that mm -hmm. have the courage to say I love myself today where I am. Right. And I want to capture that moment in time. And no matter what, you know, rules are there or size of underwear I'm wearing or whatever, it doesn't matter. And I think right. that's like, that's hard for me to like look at that and say, oh, could I do that right now? You've really mm -hmm. given me a lot to think about. I'm, I'm like, should I do this? Because <laughs> it is an amazing experience. I, I have to say that. Um, the stories that we get to um, be a part of, uh, it's just, it, it sort of fills my cup to hear those stories. Sometimes um, they're very uh, sad, uh, you know, where they've come from has been very, a very sad and traumatic experience. Right. But to see where they've gotten to is just incredible just incredible and the fact that they're willing to share um that makes me happy because then i'm able to go out and also share those experiences with other women and say you know what you're not the only person that thinks this way or or i can have empathy because i've sort of heard and know how to um, take it in and understand it too so it, there's so many different ways of looking at what we're, what I'm doing 
Um, it's not just about, you know, self-care, self-love, it, it, it's acceptance, it's gratitude, and so much more. <laughs> and that's what I love is that you um, took your passion and turned it into a real way of empowering women in a really beautiful way. And that's, that's really why it was so important that we connect about this topic, because I do feel like you really embody it with the way that you treat people and the way right. that you care about people and um, this work that you're doing. Now, I'm going to turn the tables a little bit on you personally. So <laughs> what do you do for Drupti? What does self-love look like for you personally? Uh, for me, for my own time, I have, you know, I like running. So whenever I can, I get out and um, take a run. Love being outside. So as much as I can, I try and do that. One of the things that I do pretty consistently is my self-care Sundays where mm. I do an exfoliation, a mask, and it's just sort of my time to kind of close the door and um, have some time just for my own personal self-care. Um, but even on a daily basis, I'm learning to sort of get up a few minutes earlier. Uh, I haven't done the whole half an hour to an hour. Um, I read a book by Simon T, um, T. Bailey that said 15 minutes, you know, carve out 15 minutes. Anyone can do 15 minutes. So that's where I started from. And then I'm reading your book and I'm, you know, sort of maneuvering my way to setting um, habits, setting time for doing my gratitude journal and um, looking in the mirror and saying thank you, you know. Waking up and saying thank you. Yes, my favorite one. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Yay. It's my so. favorite one. That's so important. Um, I want to just go back quickly to your self-care Sunday because one of the things that I've noticed with a lot of people that are a lot of women really that do aesthetics and makeup application and take care of other women who are doing their self-care, they actually yeah. don't do it for themselves, right? It's the yeah. shoemaker shoes that are full of people. <laughs> so I want to really just make sure that I highlight the fact that I think it's so great that you actually do that for yourself, that you're doing, you're providing your own services to yourself, mm -hmm. you know, at least taking that time for you because it is, it's so often, I'm sure you've seen it and it, cause there's a lot of burnout in, in aesthetics. Um, as an it agent. is. Yeah. It's a revolving door in a lot of places, but the Sundays are fun. And, you know, if the boys aren't playing sports, um, sometimes they want to do the mask with me. Oh. So. <laughs> That's so awesome. So, so it's great in, in a lot of different ways. I'll have my time and then they're like, oh, but I thought you were going to do a mask for me. And I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, well, we can. <laughs> That's amazing. And I can tell that the family time obviously brings you a lot of joy as well. So that's wonderful. Yeah. You, you know, it sounds like you have a really beautiful family life and some great kids and um, that time to run. I know I see your posts on, on Facebook when you're out running and how much you're enjoying and you're sharing photos of nature, which I love. I love nature, obviously, myself. Too. Yeah. When an, another wonderful thing that you and I have in common. So I... Thank you. You've really given me a lot to think about. I actually, this conversation made me a little bit uncomfortable in, in thinking like, would I have the courage to do a boudoir session and why or why not? Because it is really a beautiful gift of self-love. So it is, it is. Yeah. I'm going to think about that one for quite a bit and <laughs> I'll dive in. And I know that I might not be able to do it with you guys because I live on Vancouver Island and you guys are on the mainland. Yeah. Um, where, sorry, where is Vivian's studio actually located? Um, her studio is in Maple Ridge okay. and I'm in Port Coquitlam. So it's a really, for me to get over to her is a quick 10 minute drive. So it works out really well. And we actually have clients from all over. We've had people come down from, um, you know, Actually, the island, we had a, someone come up from the island before, wow. and then as far like Chilliwack, Hope, um, further out. So it's sort of like, you kind of make a day out of it, because okay. it really is, um, I would say, at least three to five hours. Right. So, um, you know, you have that time for your makeup and hair, and then you go through your session, and... Um, Oh, her photography is amazing. So even if you're only doing it for yourself to have that image of like, you know, I was confident enough to do this and I am beautiful. 
um, it's that's just empowering. And that's what I love when I do makeup demonstrations and tutorials is sharing my tips and sharing my knowledge and hoping that, you know, the viewer takes away or the client in front of me takes away at least something small or something big that kind of turns their thought frame around a little bit more too. Yeah. Beautiful. So it sounds like it's worth a day trip. So that is amazing. We'll make sure that all the links for your website, your Instagram, everywhere we can find you to see those videos. I know you do some on Facebook, you've got some IGTV, lots of places to see those tutorials. Yep. And of course, if they want to book, I'm, is it through Vivian Studio? If they, if it is through Vivian Klein. We'll um, make sure that com. that's also posted um, if people are yep. as well. Okay, so my last question that I love to ask is, if you could recommend um, that those who are listening or watching make one change today, be it create a new habit or stop doing something, or maybe just make one little shift or change in their mindset or their activities, what would that be for you? Um, to just look at yourself in the mirror and pick one thing and say thank you. I or for me, it's like I'll, I'll say I love my eyes. I love my eyes. So I'll you know look at it and go, okay, forget the rest. I love my eyes. Um, so I think it's fine not letting others get you down, but to find that one thing that keeps your sparkle alive because you don't want other people to dull your sparkle is my biggest thing. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Shine, baby, shine. <laughs> oh, Dripti, I adore you. That's a beautiful <laughs> gift. I'm, I'm getting all emotional just thinking about how one little thing, looking in the mirror and saying thank you. And I love, you know, my eyes, my nose, my mouth, whatever it is, my boobs, yeah. whatever you want to say, right? Yeah. Beautiful gift. Thank you so much, Tripti. I've really enjoyed this time with um, with you, getting to know you better. You've shared some really beautiful gifts with Thank those you. who are listening and watching, and I really enjoyed our time together. Thanks, Tripti. Thank you so much. <laughs>